Okay, so let's take a look at how would we go about creating a left column and a right column in Dreamweaver. And very much so we think about when we're doing web design about everything is sitting inside of boxes. So I begin, first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to make a big container to hold everything. And then I'll create div tags that uh, one will float left, one will float right, and um, it will create a two column layout. All right, so when I come on up to, I'm going to come in and I'm going to give a, a name um, to the title uh, and I'll show you where that name appears. That, that actually, let's say we come on in and we do Firefox. I click Firefox. Let's do file new window. Okay. Uh, this right here, Mozilla Firefox start page, that is what is in the title. Okay. All right. So moving right along. So we come on in and we want to insert a another div tag. So we come on in and we ins we go to our insert panel window insert and we come to common and we come and we hit insert div tag. Now what I'm going to say is I want this to be after the tag and I want it to come after the nav bar. Okay. Now <clears throat> Menu bar one is inside of that. So I want it to be after the nav bar. I'm going to say, okay, whoopsie. And I actually didn't want it to happen that way. I'm going to try this one more time because I went too quick. Insert div tag and I'm going to say after tag and I'm going to name this container. And I want it to be after the nav bar and I'm going to do a new CSS rule. Sample CSS. I want it to go there. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to come on into a box. I'm going to make my box, actually I'm going to make it 900 across, and I'm just going to give it a height. You can come in and change this. I'm going to put it just like that, and I'm going to give it a right of auto. I want it to be centered, my left at auto, and I'm going to put about 15 pixels between the top and the bottom. And just for the heck of it so we can see it. Again, I could turn this off just so we could see it a little bit better. I'm going to give it a color, so I'm going to hit OK. Okay, and here is my container. Okay, so we can see here is my container. All right, so now what I want to do is just I'm going to delete this type, okay, because it's all inside of the container, and I want to show you how you're going to go about creating a left column and a right column. So first of all, we look, we have our div tag container, and we know that the left column and the right column are going to be inside of this div tag. So when we come on in one more time to our insert div tag, what we're going to say is we're going to go after start of tag and we're going to say after the start of the container because we want it to be inside. Right? And I'm going to name this one left column. I'm going to give it a new CSS rule. I want it to be on sample CSS. I'm going to say OK. And what we want to do here, let's actually just give it a background so we can see it a little bit better. Actually, better. I'm not going to give it a background. This is what I'm going to do. Decisions, decisions. Just for right now, we'll put a border around it. I'll show you how to do that, and we can you can turn that off. I just want it to happen like that so we can see it. So I'm going to make it a box. Now, let's make it um, 420. I'm going to make both of them 420, and I believe I should have written it down that I made it 900 wide. I'll go 880. 420 by 880 and I can change it if I need to. Now, this is where the important thing comes. I want to float it left. I want to float it left. Okay. And you can play around with the padding margins, however you'd like to do that. And now let's actually come in and we can put a border around it and let's actually just say our style. We're going to just have a little dotted border and we're going to make the width thin color You could actually really even specify how many pixels we're going to say apply. OK. OK. All right, so here's our left column. Now we're going to come on in and we're going to do our right column. And probably you could figure this out. We come on in, insert div tag. Up oh, Now I don't want it wrapped around the selection. I'm going to say after tag. Now I could do I could do one of two things. I could say after tag and I could do it right after the left column. OK. 
because I want to just let's go into the code and let's take a look. So we can see, I could say, okay, I want the right comma. It needs to come right after the um, the right the left com the right comma needs to come right after the left comma, but it could also come before the close of the container div tag. So line 30, that's the opening tag for the container. Line 32, that's the closing tag for the container. Okay. Um, so I'm going to come on and insert div tag, and I'm going to say after tag, and I'm going to do it right after left column, and I will name this one right column. Probably you can figure out what you're going to need to do. Sample CSS, yes, I want it to be an ID. I'm going to say OK. I am going to give it a size. Gosh, and I should have written this down. I forget what I did, but that's okay. Um, and the height, 880. Now, this is where it comes. I'm going to float this one right. Come on in, give it a border. We'll give it a little dotted border. We're going to say bin. We come on in. We made it this color. We say OK. OK. And there we have it. Now, as you work to, and I'm going to come back to design view, um, and you can you can work with this. You can change this around. So, for instance, let's say I come on into my CSS styles for my right column, and I edit this. And let me just see what would happen if we came into our box and we set our margins at auto. Okay, didn't really do much. Sometimes you can play around and see what happens, and I constantly am coming on in and seeing, hmm, what happens when I do this? Let's preview it and see what it looks like. All right, so we can see, and I actually didn't really do much of anything, but if I wanted to move this over a little bit, what I'd have to do is I'd actually have to really specify um, Actually, and I'm sorry, I wanted to actually put padding because the margin is on the outside. So let me delete. No, although the margin, the margin, no, that is right. The margin would be around this. So right now I'm in left column. So if I come on in and I do the margin, um, let me set the margin actually for five. Let's see what happens. Five pixels, left column apply. Okay, can we see how that's actually moving it over a little bit? And let me put it up to 10. Okay, great. I'm going to hit OK. And now I can come on in to my um, right con right column. Here's where I'm going to close that up. I'm going to come to the right column and I'm going to edit this one. And I'm going to come on into the box. I'm going to set this at 10 pixels. I'm going to hit apply. OK. And we can see this is how we would go about creating a two column layout. Thanks so much.